easiest forex trading strategy for beginners if you want a strategy that you can watch this video and you go apply immediately make sure you watch this video to the end this strategy is very easy guys this strategy is very easy and i have come to 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 uh to share with you and i will say for the i will say one thing if you don't have uh, a strategy always work with patterns you can never go wrong with patterns so the reason why we work with patterns and all the patterns that are out there we have double tops double bottoms cup and handle uh wedge flags all those patterns the good thing with the patterns is because they will tell you when to enter patterns give you the time to enter they will tell you where to target and they will also tell you where to exit so that's the reason why i love patterns so much so you have to realize that anytime you're being involved in a pattern number one you need to know the trend of the market majority of people will assume the trend and you will face it rough so you have to know is the trend uptrend uptrend meaning buyers are in controls Or is the trend downtrend, meaning sellers are in control? So you have to know who you're dealing with. There's the pattern for an uptrend market. There's a, a, a pattern for the downtrend market. So I always tell people, if you are looking at the market that is on an uptrend, up, down, up down this market is going up so i don't want to trade a double top because double top suggests i look for sell market so anytime i have a double top i am going against the trend so i will start looking for double top thinking the market will go down but it can reject the double top and continue up so when the market is going on an uptrend um for me i would highly suggest don't look for a double top but rather look for a double bottom don't look for a double top but look for a double bottom why are we so interested with a double bottom because double bottom suggests that buyers are in control and anytime we have a double bottom we are looking for a buy so when you have a, an uptrend look for double bottom when i look when i have a downtrend i don't want to be looking for double bottom because you may think the market has given you double bottom and then it will come and break that double bottom it will be a failed double bottom and this is mostly what happens with majority of the trends so if you have a downtrend and the market is going down i would highly suggest you look for what for a double top double tops they work very well because the market is on a downtrend double tops sellers are in control so if you find your market is on an uptrend look for a double bottom if you find your market is on a downtrend look for a double top so in such a case with that knowledge i have given you you have opened your chart like this so this market has been on an uptrend since we were here. So you can see the market has been going on an uptrend. So by the time this market was going on an uptrend, those who are trying to look for uptrend along, along this area, you can see what happened. So they are, they are trying to look for an uptrend up to this area but the market only sell a little bit and it violates that uptrend. And then if you are trying to look for uptrend around, uh, along this area, the market goes up on you. So what have we said? If the market is on an uptrend, a clear uptrend, we are no longer interested with double tops, but we are interested with double bottom. So you can see this market, it has told us it's an uptrend because they have broken a resistance 
they have come and retested that resistance. So this strategy, you can either even do it for, you can do it like break and retest strategy. But how will we know that the end of this retracement is done, is over, only if I get a pattern? And these people, the market makers, they are very wise. They cannot give you a pattern on the same time frame because it will be too obvious and you will say, uh, the market will buy. So what they will do, remember the market is at the retracement. So this is where the market is. So they will hide the double bottom on another time frame. So we are on daily. If I go on four hour, if I go on four hour, you will see a support zone that you can't see on daily. This support, you have first to understand how support is created, a red candle followed by a green candle. You will see I have this support. Can you see this support? I will have this support. And the same support comes to be tempted again, to be attempted to be break. So now I have a double bottom that is hidden. This is the double bottom that I say it is OPT. OPT means one pattern on only one time frame. That is when I go to daily, I cannot see my double bottom, but it is visible on four hour. So I can trade this comfortably because I know number one, the market is on an uptrend. Number two, retracement is coming to an end. And number three, I have a pattern that is suggesting we look for buy. So in such a case, I would not encourage you to be looking for sell opportunity because the trend is your friend. Sometimes it's good to go with the trend. This market has been buying. So all this is just a retracement. You see this? This is a, a retracement. This is a retracement. So the only way this market we can know for sure the retracement is done is to observe what the market will do. So once you have a double bottom, which strategy do you use? I have taught you guys, you be using CRB. So how do I use CRB strategy? I wait for current resistance to form. So at this point, this is my current resistance because current resistance is, the word current means the, the previous most. So this is my current resistance. And then I will be looking at the current resistance that has been formed. You can see we have a new current resistance that has been formed and I will be patiently waiting for that market to break. Remember because it's OPT, I am not going to daily to confirm what is happening because on the daily, this double bottom is not available. It's only available for so I will be waiting for the double bottom for the current resistance to be broken. And you can see we have to adjust our current resistance. So we adjust like that. And we are waiting for the current resistance to break. And finally, they have broken. So once you want to enter such a trade, you are confident that you are fast take profit. It is at the half. How many pips to that, to the half? 47 pips. So that is your first take profit. And you can see it has hit our take profit. Not only it has hit our take profit, but it has broken half, suggesting we continue to buy up to the neckline. Now, my question is, would you trade this such a setup with a lot of confidence or you'll be your emotions will be everywhere? Imagine 120 pips. 120 people just realizing a double bottom market that was on an uptrend. So anytime you see an uptrend, look for double bottom. Let that part, button, bottom to be OPT. So you can see the market is going up. You can see it's going up. And have they hit TP? Of course, they have hit the take profit. Now, this is what I want to tell you who is watching. It is possible. This is a very easiest strategy and I do not want to take a lot of time because the more you, you put a strategy details, you keep talking, people tend to forget. The only thing you can do is to go to this video like five, 10 times. 
realizing the simplest things that I have I have said from step one, what am I supposed to do? Step two, what am I supposed to do? What am I looking for? So for me, I would consider this as the easiest strategy for a Forex beginner who wants to elevate their skill and who wants to become profitable. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. All the best, guys. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.